Hello everybody. In today's episode of YouTube Fishing Number 6, we're going to be talking about trolls. So who are these trolls we're talking about? Some of them can be, a small percentage of them can be psychos. I mean, the true mentally unstable. Although as content creators, I think majority of them think that pretty much all trolls are psychos. But I think in real terms, medical terms, there's just a few small percentage of people that are going to be like that. Another percentage are going to be because we're a fishing YouTube channel and fishing is a male dominant sport. We're fishermen and that ego thing comes into play quite a bit. Another factor somewhat similar to the uh, male dominant side of it is basic jealousy. Okay. Uh, boys and their toys versus other boys and their toys. That same ego type thing kicks in, So, but you do get a little bit of the uh, jealousy kickback. And finally, one of the bigger contributors, I believe, is from comments or lack of response from comments. And I've dealt with this before and as part of my actual channel strategy is the not getting a response from general YouTube comments. And what that comes back to is I think everybody starts out just like a little puppy starts out as just a friendly, loving, everything is rosy type mentality. So in the YouTube world, they start watching videos, they get enamored by being able to see all this different stuff, and then they learn that they're able to type and put a comment on that video. So they put a comment on a video, loved your video, nice video, really enjoyed that, maybe a question here or there, or just basic comments. But then after a while it's just, hey, I'm commenting but nobody responds to me, no one acknowledged me, and just goes on and on and on. Then one day as they're, maybe they had a bad personal day and they come home, they get on the computer, they see something that ticks them off. So they get on there and say, your video sucks, you suck, something sucks, okay? And then all of a sudden that notification bell on the top of their uh, channel box goes off and they click on it and all of a sudden that person that they left that negative comment about responds to them and basically says, screw you, get off my channel. But again, they don't see it that like that. They just see someone acknowledges me, someone notices me, someone's giving me attention, and then a troll is born. And then after that, it's you suck, you suck, you suck, you suck. And most of the time they're getting responses back and it gets worse and worse and worse because they find out the worse the comment that they make, the more chance that they're going to get a response back. And I personally believe that that's probably the majority of where the comments come from, the negative trolley comments come from. And yeah, nowadays with uh, social media, it's just kind of part of our normal everyday, but okay. I have a feeling that's probably the majority of it where it starts. Now who's this video for? If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel, maybe you've just started your channel, um, hey, and it, it's a good refresher for if you, you're a veteran YouTube fishing channel person, all right? Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna happen, okay? That's the biggest thing I could give uh, advice for people starting their channel, it's going to happen, <laughs> all right? It's just, it's going to happen. Unless you keep all your videos private and don't allow anybody to watch them, you're going to get them because it's, trolls will pick on anything for whatever reason just for the sake of trolling, all right? So it's just a, expect it and this video will help lessen the blow so you don't get that shock of, oh my gosh, somebody doesn't like me, panic mode, anger mode, frustration mode, psycho mode, and will allow you to just, I've been expecting you, come on aboard, welcome to my channel, okay? So, now let's kind of go into it. I'm gonna give a few tips on how to handle trolls and troll comments, okay? So I call them my troll tips. Now, I break them down into basically four items. 
One being a golden rule, okay, which is very important to follow. Um, and I highly recommend it to everybody, just blanket type policy. And three general tips that'll help you kind of worm your way through until you pick up your own individual style of how you want to handle trolls in your channel. Because in reality, you should be consistent across the board. It's just the way it should be. But anyways, let's get into this. The golden rule. The golden rule is never give more attention to a troll than you do to the people supporting your channel. All right, for an example, uh, you put out a video and you get 10 comments. Nine of them are what you're probably going to find. Uh, nice video, great video, loved your video, learned a lot, thanks for the video, nine of them. And then you're going to get one that's going to be that troll and it's going to say, your video sucks, you suck, hated everything about it, you're doing it all wrong, you don't know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. Now, as that channel owner, what you're going to do is that uncontrolled, of course, you're going to go after read all, oh, everybody loves me, everyone thinks my video is great, great, and you read that one and you're going to be like taken aback and in shock, like, what? Who is this mother? You're going to get on that keyboard, hey, listen here, you son of a blah, 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 you can kiss my blah, 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 da, da, da. All right, and it's just your normal emotional response. Or at least I think from the more male dominant fishing channel people will be that way. And then you write that all out, you put it up there, and then what happens? You have nine people that are following your video that have left a nice comment and they'll notice, okay? As well as other video people that watch your video and as well as other commenters who were possibly thinking about making a comment they look through and just say, oh, look at all the good comments. And then they, oh, woo, look at that comment. And then you've got your answer to them. But then nobody gets responded to besides that one. All right. So this is where the golden rule comes into. Never give more attention to a troll than you do to your supporters. All right. So you're going to spend all that time giving attention to that needy person that's you don't want on your channel, but yet the people that are supporting you, you're not even going to say thank you, uh, appreciate it, thanks for watching, blah, 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 okay? So that's where my golden rule comes in again. Just if you refrain from making that comment, and if you're only going to make three comments on that video, do it to the people that are supporting you. Thank you, appreciate it, thanks for watching, all right? It'll be a lot more respectful, it's going to be a lot more productive, and it'll gain you more positive uh, comments when people read that type of stuff, as well as you're going to get more subscribers because people are going to say, yeah, this, this person is a nice, amiable person that responds and so forth. Versus they look and all the thing that you've commented is another nasty comment to another nasty, and it just makes you look bad. Now. If you're like me, where you're never going to leave that alone, okay, the golden rule still applies. You just got to learn to manage it. So if you have nine positive comments and you got that one negative and you're fired up and you want to smash that person, all right, take the time, answer those nine comments, be respectful, thankful, appreciate the, the your supporters, and then hammer that person. Then it's legitimate. You got everybody's thank and you've pounded that person. You, Who can argue? Who's gonna say you're not breaking the golden rule if you're not supporting that troll over your other people? Nope, everybody's taken care of, nobody can complain about that, and you get your way of getting a shot back. So, let's get next to the tips. Okay, now we've got three basic tips. Now, these are just suggestions, okay? Just like I said, until you create your own personal style on how you're gonna handling it versus the golden rule, which I would highly recommend that you implement. The other ones you can kind of pick and choose what fits your style, okay? The first tip, just delete them. If you get a troll comment that whatever degree that you're gonna say, this is my line, uh, you cross that line, you're just gonna be deleted and go for it. There's a little flag on the side of the comment that you could click on and basically remove that uh, individual comment. Or you can click on the person's name, go to their home page, and then you can click the little flag for options and you could choose to 
basically not allow that person to ever leave any comments on your channel. You can't prevent them from watching it, but you can prevent them from ever communicating on your channel. So that's always an option. Just quick and easy. Doesn't hurt anything, doesn't affect anything. No confrontation, it's quick and easy. Okay, you're not wasting any time on it. And done. All right. Second one, joke back, okay? Or the old ball busting, all right? Again, that goes back to the male dominant fishing egos and so forth, all right? Uh, you gotta remember, this is where, yeah, you get some trolls, but everyone's not like psychotic trolls. Some aren't just evil. Some guys are out there because of our industry, the type of videos we do, you know you're fishing buddies. Everybody's into the busting your balls about something or other because it's just part of the way it is with fishing, all right? So a lot of them are just joking at you, all right? Just throwing it out there, not one of those hardcore insults. It's just a joke that they're throwing at, back at you, okay? And again, you could just delete it because you're personally offended, but if you think about it, a lot of them are that. And for me, the way I deal with it is I basically will joke back. So they insult me, I insult them, okay? And I do it specifically to test the waters to find out if that is the reason, that ball busting. So I'll put, the, someone will throw a negative comment at me, I'll throw a negative response at them, and you'll be surprised at how many conversions I get where they come back and it's like, eh, that was funny, that was hilarious, and yeah, I'm busting your balls, blah, blah, blah. And then you start seeing that name pop up in future videos and it's not that, it's just regular, hey man, what's going on? And it's your another fishing buddy type thing. It's just the way guys work and so forth. So that is also an option. Just throw a joke back, test the waters. Now I don't recommend making a big old thread about it. My guidelines are is I'll do it once. Negative comment comes at me, I throw a negative comment out them. And I'm pretty much done with it, okay? It's not really that important. If it's a real funny one, I might, if I remember to, but I have a lot of comments and it doesn't flag on my, I only see the new comments in my list. So I don't see those threads responses a lot. But if it catches my eye down the road or something and I'll see they'll do a response, maybe I'll do a second response. But in general, I don't. It's just throw it out there and if they like it, they like it. If they don't, I don't know. Who cares? It just bits of the history and I move on. And the third way is uh, you could be polite. Just someone calls you, you suck, your video sucks, everything about you sucks, you don't know what you're doing. And I, I see this a lot on channels and it's, I admire them a lot for doing it. They'll write, well, thanks for watching my videos anyway. Sorry it's you didn't like it. Um, I'll try to do better next time. All right, and it works. Great, because like I see a channel that responds that way. I have ultimately that much more respect for them. All right, and I'm sure other viewers that read those comments as well. And it also does is it, it pretty much negates trolls when you're nice to them. Because what they want is someone to be mean and nasty at them so that they can get in a cat fight and be all drama and stuff. But someone kind of ends it with, oh, I'm sorry, didn't like it, thanks for watching. It's where they can come back as, all right? So you can always just be polite, all right? So again, those are just some quick tips that to throw at you. So if you do get them, you do have a structured plan that you could fall back on instead of going all erratic right away, but it's just something to think about. Highly recommend the golden rule though, okay? One of the few things I have to say, highly recommend it, all right? Suck it back, just kinda eat that little aggressiveness behavior that you wanna go out and track down their IP address or find out what cell phone they're using and look up their account and go to their house and kill their cat or whatever. It's just a lot easier to take a breath, answer those nine positive people, and then by that time you might have chilled out and then decided, all right, I'm just gonna joke back or I'm just gonna do the plight or I'm just gonna do the delete and not even respond to it. So always an option. I'm gonna include one more factor, even though it's not specifically trolls, but it does affect uh, people, especially when you're starting out. Or again, like I said, if you're thinking about doing a YouTube channel, it's gonna come up. If you just started, it's gonna happen. 
and it's the thumbs up, thumbs down system that YouTube has for rating a video. And when you're first starting out, everything's golden. You've got, uh, you put out your first video, handful of people watch it. You might even get somebody that puts a comment down. You might even get somebody that hits that thumbs up or th thumbs up button. Most of the time it's gonna be positive. And you're gonna be like, oh, someone actually watched my video and everything's magnified and you got that thumbs up. But then down the road and all of a sudden, and it's gonna happen, all right? All of a sudden that one day, that thumbs down is gonna have a one against it. And you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, what the heck happened? You're gonna go on to YouTube. How do I track down and kill a thumbs down person, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, it's gonna drive you nuts. It's just the way it is because it's, it's a factor, you don't understand the system, and, and, it, and it hits you in the heart, okay? But to prevent that, okay, I'm gonna kinda give you the information now, so again, when it happens, you're gonna like, yeah, I knew that was coming, blah, 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 and you get on with life, and you don't have to go through all that. All right, the thumbs up and thumbs down in regards to YouTube analytics. It means relatively nothing. I mean, not nothing, but very, 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 borderline to nothing these days, okay? Thumbs up equals thumbs down is a better rule. And what that means is that they've gone the way of, there was an old saying is that there is no bad publicity. It works the same way in this regards. Consider this publicity, someone responding, someone causing, your video causing action. And that's what YouTube will give you points for is that your video caused somebody to hit a thumbs up or a thumbs down and in equal matter it just it caused something because YouTube is now kind of going at it as a business primary and what their strategy is is to keep people in front of their computers or, or uh, handhelds or their phones on the YouTube page watching videos versus going to the movies versus watching Netflix versus surfing the net. They want you to stay on YouTube the longest. And the one of those degrees is the main one is how much watch time individual videos are getting in regards to helping you rank them. But a small microcosm is, is the thumbs up, thumbs down factor being, hey, this video caused that reaction, okay? And it's been tested, the way and you can test it yourself. Uh, if you open up uh, two different channels, okay, and just make one video, upload that video on both channels, one of them being um, played, watched through completely, um, have all the description titles, everything the same, so there's no difference in the two channels, watch one all the way through and do nothing, okay? And then on the second channel, watch through the whole video, and then hit the thumbs down button. Then go search for that title on uh, YouTube in the search bar. And what happens is, is that video that has that one negative, they both have one view, but the one just, the only difference has a one negative uh, thumbs down, is gonna get placed above the other one that has nothing. Because there is no such thing as bad publicity. Publicity is publicity. Uh, reaction is a reaction. Someone did something, all right? So don't think of it as a negative. Yeah, if somebody didn't like your video, that's a negative, but how are you gonna know? There's no breakdown of why they didn't like your video. They didn't like your camera style, your sound was bad, the title was bad, the graphics were bad, the shirt color that you were wearing was bad, or anything, it's just thumbs down. It's meaningless, it doesn't help anybody. And that's why Google, YouTube doesn't weight it any difference. If they really cared about it, they would have a drop down message with a bunch of options to allow you to explain why you didn't like the video. But they don't because it doesn't matter. So don't worry about that part of it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Just understand having just a indicator on one of them is better than nothing. And in the overall picture in regards to trolls, okay, the worst thing that a troll can do to you or your channel is absolutely do nothing, all right? If they watch your video, it's a plus. If they leave a comment, 
even though it's you suck, your video sucks, everything about you sucks, same thing. YouTube is not reading those comments and researching whether it's good or bad and then qualifying your video being good or bad and whether they should forward it on to other viewers or not. It's just a comment, so many percentage points, all right? And then it works the same way. If they leave a thumbs down, it's still a bonus point. You get a little percentage point for that. But if a troll really wanted to do something negative to you, it would be not watch your video, not leave a comment, not thumbs down you. They would do nothing because all those help you. So hopefully that helps you out so it doesn't get you frustrated and freaked out over this stuff. It relatively means such an insignificant matter that it's definitely don't burn any time on it. Just put more effort into creating more videos, better videos, uh, cleaning up your, uh, um, all filling in all your boxes and all the stuff that I've gone over in your other, uh, my other videos. So that's it. That's my spiel on trolls and the thumbs up, thumbs down and the negative dark side of having a YouTube channel. It's not that bad, especially if you're not blindsided and you have a strategy for it. Um, and that, that's a lot of what my processes are is have a strategy for everything. How am I going to use this to work for me? To improve my channel even though it's a negative so anyways guys i hope that helped out and uh, i'll see you next video bye